Thus, by rival Target is also aiming to see a whole lot of shoppers on Black Friday. The nation's fourth largest retailer just reported third quarter earnings of $549 million, and that is up 56% from this same time a year ago. A key goal this holiday season, increasing online sales for Cyber Monday. The chain is offering 15% discounts on its website, also deep price cuts on so-called e-door busters, along with free shipping. What else can you give us? Target CEO <laughs> Brian Cornell. Welcome back to the yes. table. I have heard that this is such a big weekend for you guys that even the head guy is going to be working on the holiday weekend. Did you hear that? Absolutely. We'll all be out there. Why is it so important, Brian? Well, what does the, this mean? It's the start of our holiday season. Super Bowl-like? Super Bowl like. Mm -hmm. It's really the, the big weekend of the year for us. Mm -hmm. It kicks off an exciting holiday season. So I'll be out there with our team, our executive team will be out in stores, but it's a really important time for us. And, and holiday revenues are what part of your total revenue for the year? Well, they're over 30% of our business. Mm -hmm. So it's a really important time for us to connect with our guests, the consumer. And we've been planning all year for this. I know a big focus for you is growth on e-commerce, and you set a goal of 40%. That's pretty aggressive. I know analysts are saying it will be a little bit less than that probably. How do you get there, and how do you move the customer online? Well, I think it starts with leveraging our digital assets. Mm -hmm. So we really want to make sure that we're connecting using our mobile devices and letting the guests choose where they want to shop. So we want to make sure this holiday season, first, we make it really easy. Mm -hmm. We've got 1,800 stores that are conveniently located. I certainly want them to come into our stores but I also recognize some of our shoppers will be at home, they'll click and want to come by and collect their order, and some will just want the convenience of shopping online. So I want to make it really easy throughout the holiday season. But how much is it a challenge for someone like, like you and for Target to say, gosh, so many people, though, are habituated to Amazon and shopping online with yeah. Amazon, for instance? Yeah. Well, we've got to make sure we differentiate ourselves. So we do have great stores. We've got to make sure we provide a great store experience, and we know that while consumers are certainly interested in shopping online, 90% of the business this holiday season is going to be done in traditional stores. Really? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So while digital is really important, and we've got to be prepared from an online standpoint, we also recognize that most of that traffic still comes to stores. So yeah. that's why this weekend is so important. We've got to provide a great holiday shopping mm -hmm. experience. And when we have them in stores, we want them to come back not just this weekend, but throughout the holiday yeah, season. Because you want us to come and spend money. You know, Absolutely. talking about a great shop, a shopping experience, you've just started a pop-up store here in New York. We did. First time, and you're calling it the Winter Wonderland. Why? Where is that? Oh, I yeah, it's, it's ginormous. Yeah. <laughs> Nora, it's, a, right. it's, a, <laughs> it's ginormous. Yeah. It's, it's huge. Yeah. It's a fabulous location. Oh, it's right. right by Chelsea Market. Yeah. It's look, in a look at the fabulous... So yeah. people can come and do an Etch-A-Sketch. Absolutely. They don't have to draw us. You can draw yeah. anything. Yeah. So, Gail, think about this as the ultimate pop-up store mm -hmm. where physical and digital comes together. The best of Target really give us a chance to showcase some of the things that we're thinking about and create some excitement for the shoppers here in New York. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a great experience for the local community. It'll also be a great place for us to learn. So what happens if somebody comes into Target and, and they see a price advertised at another place? Uh, will you match that price? Yeah. Good question. It's, Charlie, it's one of the commitments we've made throughout the holidays to make sure that we can make it, again, really easy for our shoppers. And we've told them, we'll ma match those prices. So they've got the confidence to know if they shop at Target, they're going to get the best value in the marketplace. Do what we have stories proof we... of the difference? Or can we just say, look, I heard <laughs> yeah. it was selling over there. Yeah. Just say, trust me. <laughs> yeah. trust Gail Kim yeah. told me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Gail, we trust are very trusting, trust but a little me. bit of validation is <laughs> always important. <laughs> and, and what about... Trust me, I talked to Charlie. Yeah. He said he got it right. I talked to Charlie Rose. And what about opening on Thanksgiving Day, Brian? Because a lot of stores aren't. I know you're going to be out there because you want to send the message that, you know, we're committed to this. But a lot of stores are saying... what about the people who work for you? Want to be home with their families? Sure. Well, we thought about this really carefully, uh -huh. and we spent lots and lots of time talking about this, but when we survey our shopper, our guest, they're looking forward to coming out on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So we'll open up again like we did last year at 6 p.m., Okay. So and time. we expect to actually see traffic grow year on year. The big so, story this year, the big story this year, too, I just want to get this in, 70 million people at Target had their personal data information mm -hmm. stolen. How do you protect that? Sure. Well... Last year, when I was sitting here, that was actually where we started. Yeah. And we haven't forgotten how important it is to provide that kind of safety for our shopper. So it's something we think about not just during the holidays, but every single week, 24 hours a day. So we've got a great team in place. We've got capabilities that we think are unpassed in the industry. So 
we think about it all the time. And is Alex the Target guy doing okay? From what I hear, Gail, <laughs> yeah. he's doing just great. <laughs> he's in Hollywood, isn't he? He is in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Brian Parnell. Thank you <laughs> so much. Great to be here. Great to have a good holiday season. Parks for special needs kids at your store. Thank you.